So let's jump right in and create a conceptual 3D block model of the station building. Then we'll step back and look at the rest of the interface. On the ribbon, select the Forms tab. From the Forms group, select the Freeform tool. Check that the active family and part is set to Schematic Design, Massing, Building. In the Place Freeform dialog, set the height to 15 feet or 5 meters. If you are working in U.S. units, feet and inches, you will input distances as feet and then inches separated by a colon. So here you can simply type in 15. If you are working in metric units, note that the units are input as millimeters. So for 5 meters, you will type in 5,000. The base offset can remain at zero, as we will model this at the zero elevation plane. The top of the form will be set to fixed height. Starting at the ACS triad, use the left mouse button to place data points in the model, defining the perimeter of the station footprint. The points will automatically snap to the grid points in the view. The grid is a 12 foot or four meter module, and the station footprint should be 60 feet by 24 feet or 20 meters by eight meters and that would be five modules by two modules. Once you have placed the fourth point, use the right mouse button to right click or reset and complete the action. A 15 foot or four meter high block is defined in the model. Congratulations, you have placed your first 3D object in the model. You did this working in the 3D isometric view, but you could also view the object in the top and the front view. Next, we will take a look at the various view windows and view attributes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.